We could not be more excited about this project. Uh, we have had uh, such a great experience working with our partners at CMLC, uh, as well as our design team, PCL Construction. Everybody is on the same team uh, delivering this project for Calgarians, and it is an absolute game changer for us. This building puts the Calgary Stampede, and in fact, Calgary, into a totally different league of hosting conventions. Um, right now, uh, the Calgary Stampede is predominantly in the consumer show business. Uh, and what this does is open up Calgary in the league of, uh, for example, Vancouver and Toronto, of the large, large convention centers. This will be over a million square feet of, of convention space. When you think about it, nearly two city blocks of meeting rooms. Right now, the largest um, ballroom in Alberta is something around 17,000 square feet. Our junior ballroom will be 20,000 square feet. The grand ballroom will be 50,000 square feet. I mean, you could fit eight NBA basketball courts in our grand ballroom. So this is an absolute game changer for this city. It allows uh, visitors from all over the world to attend international conventions here. Uh, and those folks will all be eating in the restaurants, staying in hotels, riding around in Ubers and cabs. Absolute game changer. We are thrilled with the interest in the convention world for our convention center. Our, we are right on track with our sales targets and our sales team uh, frequently travels uh, to uh, connect with other convention centers and uh, meeting organizers. And there isn't a meeting organizer in North America that doesn't know about this construction project and that isn't excited about it. We actually have dozens of bookings already for conventions for this building. Um, starting in 2024, we've got bookings into 2025, 26 and 27. We are not done. We've got a long way to go, but we are on track with our sales targets for this building. It's very, very exciting. The response has been uh, really, really uh, overwhelming. Well, here's an example. Uh, we have a major uh, convention coming in 2025, which is the Rotary International Convention. And this is a huge convention. There will be more than 25,000 delegates coming to the Rotary International Convention in 2025. And it's certainly motivation for us to uh, hurry up and get this done. Well, it's pretty wonderful to have everyone in today and looking at the project that we've been so close to for over a year now in design and starting construction. And it's uh, what you're seeing behind me is about a third of the steel that you're gonna see on the BMO expansion. And that uh, represents, at the end of the day, we're gonna have about 9,000 tons of steel on site. We've got about a third of it up right now. So you can start seeing the scale. This project's gonna be higher than the existing GMC Stadium and the Saddle Dome. And we're starting to see the junior ballroom come together on the upper floor, uh, the meeting spaces on the second floor, and the expansion of about 100,000 square foot expansion on the main floor of exhibit hall space. A really, really exciting project for Calgary and actually beyond Calgary. This time about in 2024, you'll start seeing the project come together. And what's interesting about a project of this scale, so we've added over 500,000 square feet of space. At the end of the day, this is gonna be over a million square feet of a convention and meeting space. And having a project like this come together during and amidst a couple stampede 10 day events is really a, a team effect, a team effort where all of the moving parts, not only are you standing on some of the infrastructure that's gonna support this project, the 17th Avenue expansion, you're also seeing 500,000, 565,000 to be precise, square feet of new space being added to this facility. This is a, a, a huge deal for the city of Calgary. So not only on the kind of the micro effect where we have over a hundred, uh, approximately a hundred different construction workers on site today. When we're at the peak of construction, we're going to have over 400 people on site a day. This is uh, a new facility that Calgary hasn't seen yet. This is a huge catalyst project for the whole culture and entertainment district. As you can tell, we're well under construction. People are not stopping for media today. But this project, you, you can't add 565,000 square feet of new meeting space, spaces that we haven't seen in Calgary, the size of convention. We have a junior ballroom that's over 20,000 square feet and a grand ballroom that's about 50,000 square feet. This is a gathering space for people outside of Calgary to come to as well. So getting that number of new people coming to the culture and entertainment district, walking our streets, going to our river pathways, going to the retail, uh, different restaurants and hotels, it's a really big, big um, game changer for this area.
big part of the work that we've done uh, with Calgary Stampede and CMLC to keep this project on time and on budget is really taking advantages of different cycles. So we hit, we've hit the tendering cycle really well in terms of market. A lot of the supply chain and, and inflationary pressures that we're seeing are happening today, whereas we finished a lot of our tenders earlier this year and this at the end of last year. So we're over 100% tendered on this project. We still have issues in the uh, to come with, uh, to come, no doubt, but the team is really well positioned to handle that. I think one of the advantages of this site that you don't get in a lot of other downtown sites for construction is that we do have space on park, and Calgary Stampede has been excellent partners and providing extra laydown space if we needed to order steel early or get things. Um, get ahead of the supply chain. So the team is all pulled together, understands the parameters for success for this project and really is hitting it out of the park. You know, Stampede and CMLC have been working together for many, many years, lining up things like the BMO Center expansion, the 17th Avenue crossing, the 17th Avenue extension, the new Stampede Victoria Park LRT station, Stampede Trail, and so many other projects uh, in the area that are going to completely change uh, how this uh, area, this part of Calgary looks and feels, even by, tw well, by 2024, this place will look and feel nothing like uh, what we've been used to in the past. And that's a testament uh, to the relationship between CMLC and the Calgary Stampede. As Kate mentioned earlier, right now we've got about 100 uh, construction uh, employees on the site. Uh, that'll go up to 400 at peak. When the convention center is open, this will lead to more than 1,800 direct jobs as a result of this building. Um, the economic impact of the BMO Center alone, I believe is north of $260 million annually to the GDP of Canada. So this is a, this is a big boost. This creates an amazing uh, addition to the Calgary Stampede each July. So when you think about this outdoor plaza here with the great lawn, a plaza twice the size of Olympic Plaza, being added to uh, the, the greatest outdoor show on earth uh, for 10 days, we've actually added outdoor space to the greatest outdoor show on earth by stacking this building onto three stories like we have. Um, the ground floor during stampede time will still be accessible with, uh, with the admission onto Stampede Park. And then the upper two floors, um, we expect to have conventions running during stampede time. 